Welcome to the first speed drawing of Istrico Productions. Today we're going to create one of our many, many Lionel images. I usually like to start these with a strong reference photo. Lionel has some interesting proportions uh, that don't always translate. You find sometimes in illustrations that if it doesn't look realism to what we expect, it doesn't always translate to a proper proportion. So we tend to use a lot of Lionel's photos from his Instagram and stuff. I also tend to find these photos and trace these photos and then exaggerate the proportions that I want. So usually when I exaggerate a proportion for Lionel, I usually make him have bigger paws, longer tail, um, and bigger floppier ears, because these are the proportions that are so fun for him. When drawing his ears, which is my favorite part, we usually try to make him look very fabric-y. His ears are thin and they tend to have a lacy fold. So we make them big, floppy, have lots of curves and lots of fabric feel to them. I also tend to outline stuff in bright colors. This helps me see between what is natural and what I'm going to be lining later. So we're going in lining up his beans, which tend to be bigger than cat paws. Um, I like to have a little X on his butt because I think that's very cute. And lining out what exactly I'm going to need for, to put into an illustrator layer. So now that I have it in illustrator, I make the sketch big to the proportions I want. This sketch is just outlines and won't be used later. So I tend to take the opacity down and bring out my brushes that I have made. These are illustrator brushes. I find it really easy to use a brush with line width. And you can see here that I am going to move around the line width, show you some examples. So line width is very important to illustration, if you're going to have a single line width or a pressure. Um, I like to draw with a pressure because it helps me see where I am, but all of our illustrations have a single line width, so non-pressure. I like to use Illustrator for our lines not only because it gives us a crisper, cleaner line in the end, and also the ability to make edits, but I like being able to move the lines around. I like not having to redraw over and over and over again. By using the line tool in Illustrator, we can take this and move it around. You can see here. I tend to put each line uh, section on different layers, so you can see that I use the white is on its own layer. This makes it so later when I turn them into shapes, then I can just copy paste, fill it full, and not have a big ado about it. Coloring in Photoshop makes it takes a while, and coloring in Illustrator, being able to use it as a shape, makes it fast and easy. You can see I take um, from a previous file, make sure all the lines are the same, and I've gone in and I have changed these all to the correct line width. So now they're all the same line width, they're all the same line type, which is really important, especially if you want to end up animating later. And I'm going in and correcting, making sure everything's touching where I want it, making sure nothing's going over, closing shapes, making sure the points are exactly where I want it, especially in things like paws or where I'm going to have like separate colors. I also like with illustrators that I can change things later. It's not as much of a, in Photoshop, you have a pen tool and a pencil tool, and it only has one variation. If you make it bigger or smaller, you lose a lot of quality, and but doing it in Illustrator, I can make sure I'm having these proportions that I want, especially these exaggerated proportions like we try to do, and have it stay clean and the same line width. Here I am just using the lines to close them into shapes and make it so everything's the same color. This makes a great vector image. Once I have all the shapes the same layer that I want, I can merge them in Pathfinder and just make it the one big shape. Now we're going into the white and closing in these shapes. These sometimes I have to move around, make sure they're on the right layer so everything's overlapping correctly and closing shapes. 
I also like to make sure his nose has a really cool spiral pattern. I think those are very fun and I like being able to have that as an open image. So here's the final product and thank you for sitting with me and I hope to see you next time.